Hi everyone, my name is Nick, and today we're going to talk about six ways to display plants on your walls. I think one of the main obstacles we stumble upon when we get knee deep into indoor gardening is running out of surface space to display your plants. So we got to kind of move upwards, if you will, and I have six options to help you out today. Now I do want to give you a little disclaimer and say that these are going on your wall, so these do involve putting a hole in your wall, whether it is just a simple uh, small picture nail or a screw or a wall anchor. It all depends. I think you can use your better judgment to figure out what each thing would involve. There are two options that I think you could possibly get away with using a command hook, uh, and I will mention those, but please, all at your own risk, I would definitely recommend going the nail option, but I know many of us rent, and I rent. I'm 25. If you, if you think I own my apartment, you're kidding yourself, but I do put stuff on my walls. I put holes in my walls, and I just want to say you got to do it carefully. You got to be mindful. You got to make sure your landlord's okay with it, or just fix it up and make sure they don't find out about it, but um, use your own discretion. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just recommending what I say is better for all of the options in this video. So the first uh, option that I want to recommend is pretty much the most self-explanatory one, and it's wall shelves. And these are very accessible. That was the first way that I actually displayed plants in my home when I was a little younger, because they're just so easy, they look great, and they're inexpensive. So I highly recommend uh, starting with like Ikea or some other uh, inexpensive furniture websites if you're just looking to find just a simple way to display your plants. But you can also go the other route of just like finding ones that are a little bit more decorative, of course. I have one in my home that's a crown molding shelf that I really enjoy. I think it was actually meant to be like a, a picture ledge, but um, it fits plants perfectly. So uh, picture ledges too are perfect. Of course, you just gotta make sure that it's gonna support the weight that you're putting on the shelf. But I think it's a little bit more about um, the way that you anchor the shelf into the wall. So do make sure that you are correctly anchoring your shelf into the wall because you do not want that falling out. And I can tell you the first time I hung shelves, that's exactly what happened. They all just came tumbling down and lost a couple plants and pots that day. So learn from my mistakes. But yeah, I absolutely love the look of uh, the crown molding shelf in, in particular in my home. I do have a couple other ones like circle shelves and other just little shelves here and there around my apartment and large shelves too. But yeah, there's some really interesting ones that you can find if you just go um, to some other furniture stores and even just thrift stores, you can find some really cool shelves. So another way that I display plants on the walls of my home, there's one actually right behind me is trellises. Trellis I, I don't know. Um, but it's a super incredible way to display climbing plants in the home. So you can see behind me here, I have a Raphidophora tetrasperma climbing up the trellis and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. I think it actually looks a little bit more bald as to what you can see on camera, but this trellis is full, 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 full up to the ceiling and I actually got to get up there somehow uh, with some pruners because it's pushing up against the ceiling and I got to, I got to cut it back. But it's a really incredible way to display plants in your home. This trellis is actually from Ikea um, and it looks fantastic. I have another one in my home, just a plain white trellis that I have a pothos on uh, that I got from, I believe, just like Lowe's or Home Depot or just some big box store. So you can just go to any big box store pretty much in my experience and you can find a pretty awesome trellis to display in your home. And I just think it's such a great way to allow your climbing plants to really grow the way that they want to. Before I had my Raphidophora on this trellis, it was really limited into the amount that it could grow because it was just kind of reaching out as far as I would let it before I would cut it back. But now that I just have it attached to the trellis and I use um, Velcro tie, I think I've talked about this in other videos, but it's just like Velcro plant tape uh, to attach my plants to the trellis and it works really well and I absolutely love the way it looks. The third way that I would recommend uh, displaying plants in your home, and actually let me go get one real quick so I can display it, show you guys a little bit better. So my third way of displaying plants on your walls is wall planters. So this is just one example um, of a wall planter that I have in my home. This one, if you're wondering, is by a company called Creative Co-op, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and this is just a fantastic way just to put a nail in the wall and just pop this on and display it. Um, you do wanna be mindful that some wall planters aren't necessarily the most waterproof. This one in particular is not the most waterproof, which some of you could say is a good thing, but um, if you don't wanna damage your walls, it's not necessarily a good thing, but um, it's a really great way to display plants in your home. Some of my plants that I also have in these that don't require as much water work a little bit better. But yeah, this is just one option. There are so many different options out there. I'm sure if you go on like Etsy or um, in thrift stores, once again, I'm sure you can find some pretty cool planters that actually attach to your wall. And this is just a very easy way, once again, to get things 
off of any surface space, which is exactly what every option in this video is trying to do. But this is actually a way that I've physically planted something and it's like on the wall versus like the trellis, like the plants are in pots on the floor and then they're growing up the trellis. But this is just a great way to just really get uh, the plants off of any surface and repot it in something where you can really allow yourself to have more space. And it's exactly what I'm trying to do because I am reaching capacity, let me tell you. Um, very similar to the wall planter is a little bit more of a crafty way to display plants on your walls. And it's wall mounted plants or just mounted plants in general. So um, these are plants that are attached to a piece of wood. So I wanna give you an example of one that I've actually purchased that is sold pretty commonly um, in plant stores. And this right here is a Dischidia or Dischidia um, on a plaque. This one in particular is a Dischidia uh, Oeantha variegata, if you're curious. But this is just um, on a plaque with some floral uh, florist wire just wrapped around and it's just stuck onto some sphagnum moss. But I actually do make these at work and at home to display um, some of my plants. Um, so they're very easy to make and I do have a video, I think I have like two videos, although I'd recommend the more recent one, um, on how to make these. Um, and this is one that I've made myself from an orchid that my roommate's boyfriend was killing and now it's flowered once again, so obviously it's very happy. Um, but this is one that I've just tied to a piece of cork bark. Uh, cork bark, I'm sure you can order it online. I would check out some like pet, maybe like specifically like amphibian stores, um, online stores I think that you could order it from. And, uh, or just pet stores in general. If you have a pet store local to you, they should sell cork bark to some capacity or even plant stores, but I have to order it from, in, in weird ways. I have, to, I have to get this in strange ways at the store when I order it um, wholesale. That's a different story. But anyway, uh, this is just literally a plant that I've wrapped the roots in sphagnum moss and tied it to wood. And I just have it displayed. Um, I have here some florist wire just as a way to um, put it on the wall. And this is one of the options that I think you could possibly get away with a, just a command hook. They definitely do not weigh more than the pound. Um, and I'm not the best at judging weight, but they they feel like nothing in my hand. Even this one's wet and I really can't like feel any weight. So this, this would be totally fine. Um, one of the questions that I feel like might come up for me talking about this is wet is, um, does it damage the wall? And I really don't have an issue with that. Um, the backs of these plaques stay so much less wet and I also take a moment to like dampen, or not dampen, pat them dry with a towel to remove any dampness, um, so that's something I recommend. And also, I feel like I might be asked, how do I water these? And it's very simple. You just take it off your wall and you put it in the sink, or you can dunk it in like a bucket of water if you have it, that's, you know, whatever way you wanna do it. But it's a really fun way to display your plants, and it's a really fun craft to do in your home if you're trying um, to get a little bit more crafty with your plants. So definitely recommend checking out my video on how to mount plants. Um, another way that I wanna recommend, and I wish I could get up and get it down, but it's way too, too high, so I'll just have to include some footage, is a wall basket. So these are just baskets that hang on your wall. And I would say you'd have the best luck finding these in a thrift store or probably on Etsy. This is just such a fun and like uh, like boho way to display your plants and you could keep it inside the plastic pot and you could probably once again use a command hook to display a basket. Um, do be mindful about the weight. I think this one's kind of pushing it. I'd probably recommend using a nail, but um, you could probably get away with it specifically if you keep your plants that you have inside the basket in its plastic nursery pot because that's gonna weigh a lot less than a terracotta pot, which is of course how I'm displaying mine because I'm not the smartest person on planet Earth. But it's a really fun, beautiful way. I think it fits seamlessly in my home because I do a lot of macrame, macrame hangings. And that goes to our sixth option, macrame wall hangings. You can kind of see I have one behind me here. I get asked about this plant all the time and I feel like I never respond. It's a philodendron myoi. So um, if you've asked me in the past about what this plant is in this macrame wall hanging, I'm telling you right now, but it is such a fun way to display your plants. All of these are very fun ways. I know I'm a little redundant, but this is just a craft that you can do. This one I've actually purchased. So this one doesn't look as good as some of the ones that I've made, which I think have a little bit more character, uh, but you can make these at home very simple with just some twine or some macrame cord and a stick. I've used pieces of driftwood or just sticks literally that I found on the ground at work uh, to make these in my home and it's super fun and it's a great way to spend time. So I have no videos on how to make these because it's a little out of my wheelhouse, but um, if I can do it, you can do it. So I highly recommend looking up any DIY video on how to make a macrame wall hanging for plants. I don't know exactly how 
I would Google search that, but um, it's such a fun, <laughs> it's so fun. It's such a fun way to display your plants. I highly recommend it. And it looks great. I think I'm running out of steam if you can't tell, but uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me today on talking about ways to display plants on your wall. If you need to get some plants off of your windowsills or your tables because your roommates or your significant others are getting mad at you for cluttering their space, then this is exactly what you need. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Philly Foliage, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great time.